Hey, oh shit. Hey, yo, yo, Warren K, I know you're watching this, bro. Do you remember this shit? Bro, I ain't seen, bro, I ain't worn this in a hot minute. If you an OG of the RTM days, you would know what this about. This a classic. But yeah, what's good with y'all boys, man? It's trippy, you know what I'm saying? Live in the flesh. I'm gonna go ahead and bless y'all with some advice on how to become a good ISO player, how to become unguardable, a threat on the court, a dribble guide in Hoop City. But obviously, before I go ahead and give y'all the tutorial, man, be sure to go ahead and join the SBO Corporation Discord for more exclusive sneak peeks on Backyard Hoops. The free to play weekend for Backyard Hoops is in three days, y'all. Or no, two days when I'm uploading this. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We literally just hit 5.5k. We already about to come up on 6k, bro. That is insane to me. Be sure to also join the ISO Nation Discord to participate in events. Once that server hits 100 members, I will be hosting events. And yeah, go ahead and cue that intro, man. Alright, so off the rip, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a little pitch in on how to just dribble in general. In order to have dribble moves obtained, you must be a playmaker of some sort. So when my player arrives, or when you want to play play now, with whatever you choose to do, if you want to ISO and cook people up, you must have a playmaker. So for, 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 damn, I just stuck. So for this video in particular, I will be going with the slashing playmaker, Amari Young, because I think he has the best handles in the game. And yeah, now I'm gonna teach y'all the basics. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show y'all is, you know, simple crossover. Z to cross over to the left, C to cross over to the right. Pretty simple. Same same rule applies to the hesitation. If you're if you're dribbling the ball in your right hand, you're going to press C again. And if you're, let's say you switch over to your left hand, if you're dribbling on the left hand, you want to press Z to do a hesitation to the left. Now for the behind the back, if you're dribbling with your left hand, you want to go to the right. To do a behind the back to the right, you want to press Z and X quickly. And then it'll look like that. Same rule applies if you want to go to the left, except you change a key to CX. Just like that. Now here's where it's going to get a little trickier. Now for the spin move, um, if you want to spin to the right, you want to press Z, X, and C. Just like that. And if you want to spin to the left, you're going to press C, X, and Z like that y'all want to do a step back this one's easy you just drive in tap x very simple if you want to do a snatch back double tap x pretty simple now y'all officially no wait i lied hold that thought in order to do a double crossover um let's say you're dribbling on the right hand you're gonna double tap c just like that. and if i switch hands here if you want to dribble do a double crossover on the left hand double tap z just like that now this build can't do a double behind the back which kind of blows me away but i'm gonna teach y'all anyway in order to do a double behind the back to the left, you want to press Z, X, Z. And to do a double behind the back to the right, you want to you want to press C, X, C. Now, y'all know the basics to the dribble moves of this game. Now, I'm going to be teaching you how to create space with these dribble moves and how to just obtain a lane and everything else. And yes, I will have somebody guard me after I show y'all what moves to perform. All right, so the one move I love doing, um, I do it in every single basketball game. It works. It just It's just so good. Let's say you're coming up the court or you're playing half court one. Sometimes I like a, I like to bring it to a certain angle and then I zoom around and then I do a moving crossover. Repeat after me. If you're watching this video, repeat after me. Let's say you check the ball up. You're 1v1 to somebody. Bring it at an angle. Crossover. It always works for me and I'm going to be able to show that and prove it to y'all today. For the next move I like to do, um, it's, it's a little trickier, but it, it works. Let's say I'm going to the deep corner, right? Let's say I'm like right here. If my opponent is pressing me, and this is also important, it's all about who is guarding you. So let's say I have a defender on me. He's going to play me up. He's definitely going to play me up. Let's say I'm a shooting playmaker. I can shoot the three ball. If somebody's playing up on you, they push you, right? Let's say I get a push off. Oh my. As soon as you get that push off, you spin into it, and then you just, you're gone. Just like that. <laughs> Easy lane. Now, these are just the getaway moves. Um, I'll be showing combos, the advanced shit after this, but I am going to show these getaway moves and how well they work. All right, so a fan is going to be guarding me. Hey, shout out to you, by the way. All right, so the first move, like I said, you come at an angle. I'm out of there. See, just like that. It works. It's super consistent because when you ha when you hit the hash, right? When you hit that wing, because the hash is going to be over here. That's where I ended up at. Once you hit that angle, you turn into it. 
and boom just like that you got a perfect lane it's so it's easy buckets every time and then for the next move right i'm gonna have him push me as soon as he pushes me again see just like that boom we out of there we gone did you see how much space that created see that's the trick thing that y'all need to know about realistic he said again all right i'm gonna I'm show you one more okay y'all see it y'all see it right he's pushing me he's still pushing me hold on one more time one more time see look at that gone <laughs> simple it's so simple it's smooth it's consistent this game on the other hand it, look it's a little buggy it's gonna happen here and there but y'all y'all it's living proof y'all see it it works um but what i'm gonna explain to y'all is that the thing y'all need to know about realistic basketball games is you have to blend in i've been studying the dribble systems for like realistic basketball games like such as our world 4 and this one and it's it honestly they both are very similar if you play it correctly if you play the sport properly the move you want to execute will be executed just right. so yeah those are the two you know simple getaway combos they work almost 80 percent 90 percent of the time here i'm gonna show it even one more time hold on let, let him push it go ahead come on i'm out of there see it's a bait process it's a bait process it's gonna work now i'm gonna be showing y'all how to create lethal space so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that but i'm gonna use a totally different build because this build can't shoot i think for the build that i'm gonna use that's the most accurate to like a like a playmaking shooter is probably gonna be the combo guard so yeah that's what we gonna rock with for this for this half of the tutorial all right so me and this guy both which by the way shout out to you bro. me and this guy both switched builds so you guys can have a better representation of what these moves can do so for this move i'm going to be showing y'all i'm gonna be showing a replica of the getaway move and i'm gonna put it in into a, a bucket he picked one of the bigger guys um because you know bigger push bigger intimidation yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put that to work so the move that y'all are gonna be doing um i don't i don't i don't want him to guard me all right, all right. see he's such a w man so the move y'all are gonna want to do is when you bring it over here you're not gonna wait for the push no more let's say let's say the 1v1 is a panic you check up bring it over here you spin you get the drive and then you pull back all right but you do the snatch back i forgot to do it rinse and repeat so you check the ball up or you're struggling to get open bring it over here at an angle you get the drive bring it back boom it worked now another really lethal way to make this move guaranteed work is you do the same process right rinse and repeat snatch back but you add a hop to that bitch that shit is ridiculous so now i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how lethal this move really is all right let's let's put it to the test man spin see it works it, it, it's a lethal move now i want to let y'all know there is physics involved it's studying your opponent people have such a hard time getting open because they don't really like and I, I hate to compare real life to a video game but it's true they don't study the sport if you study the sport via game or real life everything works in your favor that's why i get open so much because i know how to back down my opponent and avoid any contact with my opponent whatever build i choose to use that move was living proof i told him use 100 percent of your guarding ability i got open on that spin i didn't even have to do the snatch bag but it's also good if you want a simple bucket if you're afraid of taking it to the paint i'm gonna show y'all one more time I'm show y'all one more time except this time i'm now gonna do the spin drive snatch back into a hop jumper all right, so look, he's guarding up. I take the spin. Okay, he got to stop there. It's all good. Like I said, these moves uh, these moves work 90 and 80% of the time. There's still a chance that it won't work. It's all about it's all about how you play it. See, look, I'm out of there. Up. Got him. Red dot. I'm going to redo that because the ball, I, I look back at the footage. The ball was in the way. Didn't pay attention to that. So we're going to try again. All right. So look, he going to come after you. You going to spin. You going to step back. You going to hop cash money money team every time bro so yeah there's living proof everything is per it's it's based on a percentage and it's based on how you execute and it's also about how you study your opponent so the times i was fucking up where he was locking me up is because he was he was reading me he read me well so i had to reiterate his his prediction i went the same pace as him i let him get a smidge ahead of me then i took off it's iq it's all about vision, y'all. The only way you're going to become a good ISO player like the OGs or like the new gens of the community that take ISO serious. It's all about vision. Now time for the more advanced combo type move. Now a move that I love to do um, is it's it's a lot. 
but it does create space for the most part um i'm gonna try to put it in order for y'all but it, it looks like this pretty much and then you just you know what I'm saying you pull up you do what you want after that combo is over so the moves in order to activate and execute this combo it goes like this first you start with a tad bit of a drive right to get your opponent you know stuttery as soon as you do that you want to snatch back it's going to end up now all this works on your right hand you got to start off with the right hand once you do that snatch back which is double tap x it's going to end up in your left hand then you're want you're going to want to follow up with a moving crossover to the right which is by tapping c once you've done that you're going to want to spin to the left which is c x z and then you're going to want to double tap x again to end up back into your right hand and if you play the angle just right you're going to end up in the same spot that you wanted to end up in which is the three point line via wing corner done matter i will be having my opponent guard me and i'm not gonna lie like i said this is an advanced combo so it's gonna be a lot harder to show but it's gonna be a lot more satisfying to succeed all right so now we got another person to guard me i don't know who this person is but he's actually you can see he wants to play that he wants to play that defense so we're gonna try to put this move into action look at that space see that see that that's where he fucked up. now imagine you put that combo to use watch this shit we're gonna do it again where is he going <laughs> like where where's blood going point proven right there y'all if you can master that just that move alone once you've mastered that that's the basic advance bro you master that you're cooking everybody but yeah like i told y'all man that's not really an easy one to pull off but if you can pull it off in the future in a pickup game clip it and let me know bro because that shit look broke but yeah man that's gonna do it for the dribble tutorial man couple of couple of advanced moves and a couple of basic moves to get y'all started um if y'all come up with some combos man let, let me know in the comments i'll i'll put them to use in a video but yeah man y'all know the drill man i say it in every intro every outro be sure to join the SBO corporation discord for more exclusive sneak peeks on backyard Ooh, be sure to like comment subscribe and turn on that notification bell we're about to hit 5.5k basically 6k pretty soon be sure to join the isolation discord as well Cause the events is gonna be crazy, man. I host the I host like probably the dopest events in Roblox. But yeah, with that being said, man, I'm out of here.